Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. AE and in this tutorial, I'll be attempting to recreate Ariana's cool switch transition in her official music video positions. Let's head over to our composition. Make sure you name the project. And as always, I'll be using 1920 by 1080 pixels with 30 frames per second. Double click the import selection and import your two clips. Drag them into the timeline and rearrange them in the sequence you like, ensuring that the first clip is under the second clip. Trim if necessary. Then select your second clip. We want to flip it vertically then position it, no pun intended, beneath the first clip. So that it can flip up during the transition. Select your first clip and head over to the effects and presets. Search for motion tile and double click to apply it. Then set output width to 200 and do the same for output height. Head back down to your timeline and right click your workspace to add a null object. Basically what this does is pin the group layers to move them in the same way. We want to place it in the center of the two clips. Select both clips using shift on your keyboard, then select the pick whip to tie them to the null object. This will pin the two layers and mimic the axis of rotation. Press the null layer and hit R on your keyboard to open rotation. Watch how both clips now move together. Select your first click and tick the mirror edges box, much prettier. Return to your null layer and click and drag your rotation to see the second clip. We want to mirror this too. Head on over to effects and presets and type up reptile. We want to expand everywhere but down so we can still see the first clip. Click and drag to fill the empty spaces. Then change the tiling style to unfold. Nice. Preview and adjust. Now we will add the rotation keyframes. Select the null layer and hit R to place a keyframe where the two clips first meet by pressing the timer icon. Move your playhead about 3 to 5 seconds from the keyframe. Click and drag rotation to the left so that the final product will transition right. Drag until negative 180 degrees. Then let's smoothen it out. Select both keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard. Head to your graph editor and select the handles to create a mountain shape. Ensure your graph is displaying the speed if you can't see this. Finalize it and exit. Select motion blur on all layers and this is the secret tool to heighten your product. Preview and adjust. Let's add that cool lotto effect. Place header close to the end of the rotation and click and drag the angle to the left so it can spring to the right. Adjust the keyframes if necessary. 
Awesome. Let's add some more to it. Go up to the menu and head back to Project. Double click the panel and select your topping. Mine will be a clock and I'll be providing a link in the description. Drag it to the workspace. Then to clean the green, we'll select color key. Using the color picker, select the green area. Down at color tolerance, click and drag until there is little to no green left. Then select the clock and open position. Click and drag the x-axis to the right until the clock appears as a hemisphere. Also attach it to the null object using the pick whip. Looks good already! Let's speed up the clock. Right click the layer and select time. Then time stretch. Set stretch factor to 50. and this will halve the original time. Preview and don't forget motion blur Let's make the clock pop a little more Select the layer and hit S to open scale. Place a keyframe and move it about 2-3 to three seconds up. Place another keyframe and set scale to 0. We'll add one more keyframe to larger the scale a bit before the true size. Select both keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard and open Graph Editor. Make sure you're editing the speed graph, then pull the yellow handles inwards to create a mountain like last time. Repeat for the smaller parabola. Preview and adjust. Place another keyframe to hold the scale. Finally, add one last keyframe to transition the clock away, turning the scale to zero. To finish off the product, we'll add a fade to the end of the clip. Select your second clip and hit T to open opacity. Add a keyframe. Then move your playhead to the end. Add another keyframe with opacity set to zero. Hit N to shorten the end of the product. And B to shorten the front of the product. and make any necessary adjustments. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it doesn't look too much like the music video, but I tried to make it easier for you guys. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you'd be interested to see more tutorials like this one. And I'll catch you next lesson. Bye!